Niamulagira, a shield volcano in eastern DR Congo, about 25 kilometers north of Goma, has entered a more intense phase of activity. This volcano is part of the Virunga system, the same region that includes Niragongo, and it has a long record of large, fast-moving, effusive eruptions that have built one of the biggest lava fields in Africa. This week, satellite data confirmed new lava overflowing the northern rim of Nyamulagira's summit caldera. The flow has already traveled more than six and a half kilometers down the northwestern flank. Thermal readings from orbit show a steady, powerful lava lake inside the crater feeding this movement, which is a pattern seen during its major eruptions in 2011, 2014, and again during the 2023 to 2024 effusion. On November 14th, gas monitoring systems detected a sharp rise in sulfur dioxide output. The plume reached an altitude of around 15 kilometers and carried close to 3,000 tons of gas. That spike tells scientists that the magma supply rising inside the volcano is strong and sustained. So far, this remains a fully effusive eruption with no ash column and no sign of explosive behavior. The main hazard right now is gas that can travel long distances and fall as acidic rain, along with lava that could advance farther down slope if supply increases. Goma is not currently threatened, but the region's history shows how quickly conditions can shift in the Virunga chain. Teams are tracking three signals closely, continued sulfur dioxide levels, any new fractures forming along the flanks, and changes in the speed or direction of the lava flow. These indicators will determine whether the elevated activity stabilizes or begins to move toward areas where people live, 